<laughs> there had better be a reason why I'm awake so early. Are you seriously telling me this couldn't have waited until sunrise at least? Fine. But whatever it is, better not be a waste of my t Well now, who is this? I know it's a stowaway, genius. What are they doing here? See, the fact that we've been out at sea for three days and no one noticed them till now just proves that you morons have been slacking off at food detail. Oh, really? <sighs> Great. Now I get to deal with this. Check the rest of the cargo hole and make sure everything is accounted for. Don't make me repeat myself. Just do it. <sighs> Fucking morons, the lot of them. Now, as for you. Stop talking. As I'm sure you've noticed, it is very early. So early, in fact, that the sun hasn't even bothered to grace us with its presence. So I'm sure you can imagine that I am not happy with being awake right now. On top of dealing with a ship full of morons, I now have to deal with you. So, here's what's gonna happen. You're going to tell me why you're here and what you've been doing on my ship for the past three days. Or I'm gonna gut you and use you as chum. So, you had better start talking. <laughs> oh, wow, you really are an idiot, aren't you? You snuck on here thinking this was a passenger ship? Really? <laughs> Were the black sails not enough to give it away? Because this is definitely not a passenger vessel. It's a pirate ship. You know what a pirate is, don't you, Runt? I'm sure you've heard tale about us from time to time. Violent, greedy, vengeful, hungry. Mm, actually, especially hungry. The voyage we had just departed on will take about a month and a half. So as you can imagine, we're going to need about as much food as we can carry. I'm sure you know where I'm going with this, Runt. From what I hear, you have been on this ship stealing food right out of this cargo hold. You don't want any trouble. Well, it's a bit late for that, don't you think? If you really didn't want any trouble, then maybe you'd have paid more attention to what kind of ship you were sneaking on. I'm sure whatever passenger ship you thought this was would have simply locked you up and that would be that. But I've never really been one to let bygones be bygones. You stole from my ship. You stole from the mouths of my crew. And you stole from me. No one steals from me. At least, not without paying in either coin or blood. Oh my god, will you stop talking? SHUT UP! Just in case I need to remind you, it is very, very early in the morning. And I'm already irritated by the fact that I need to be awake right now to deal with this bullshit. I'm already tempted to just kill you so I can go back to sleep. But that would be against my better judgment. Besides, the last thing you want to do now is wake up the rest of the crew. If you think I'm irritable now, just imagine what a ship full of angry, hungover, 
and sleep-deprived pirates will do to you if they find you here. Don't be mistaken, however. I've made it a point that every rogue on this vessel knows better than to fuck with me. By any degree. That being said, there are certain things that are simply out of my control. For example, if any of the crew were to wake up and see you here, sitting in the middle of the cargo hold with several barrels opened and food rations missing, whatever they decide to do to you would simply be out of my hands. I can imagine they'd be none too pleased. Though unlike them, I'm a bit more rational. So if I were you, I would pipe the fuck down before you go getting yourself killed. <sighs> now, as I was saying, it's now my responsibility to replace whatever you ate. And I'm going to make sure I get my money's worth out of you. The way I see it, there are two ways I can go about this. One, I work the money out of you. You stay on this ship and serve me until your debt has been paid. Don't flatter yourself. You're too damn scrawny to be joining my crew. No. What I'll have you do is, once we reach our destination, I'm going to put you to work. You'll do whatever you can, steal whatever you can. I honestly don't care how you get the coin. Just make sure you bring something back. And then we'll do the same with our next location, and the one after that, and so on and so on until you pay off your debt. And then there's option two, which of course is just me selling you to the highest bidder. Now, I don't imagine there are too many people who would pay for something as weak and scrawny as you. That being said, they do say that there's someone for everyone. So I imagine there's got to be at least one person out there who's willing to pay a satisfactory price for you. Do I look like I give a shit? You're lucky I have enough rationale not to kill you. You can't barter your way out of this. Not with me. Serve or be sold. What will it be? <laughs> Thought so. It would seem we finally have an understanding. Welcome aboard, Runt. <sighs> now that that's finally done. You, take the stowaway and lock them up. After that, come back here and continue accounting for the missing rations. And you better give me an exact number, or I'm going to be pissed. And you better not bother me again until after I've eaten in the morning. <sighs> <sighs> Finally, I'm going back to sleep. <sighs>